All right, welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption. In the last episode, we met the Santa and uh, Allende, did a few missions for them. We also helped Louisa get her sister out of Mexico and also helped Louisa save her beloved Abraham Reyes. So since we're on both sides of the um, both sides of the story, or whatever how I'm saying it, with Santa and now also kind of in Reyes. You know, we're back with the Santa and Allende, I'm guessing. So let's see what this is about. Mr. Merson, ride with us. We've been betrayed. What's happened? If there's no time, ride with us. Then we'll find the men you seek. Come. I have men waiting for us. Just outside Escalera. Vamos. Very sudden. What's the hurry, DeSanta? Where are the we going? have taken control of an abandoned port on the other side of Nuevo Paraíso. Many men. A place called Torquemada. We can allow them to establish a stronghold. The Coronel has given me urgent orders. Which are? To kill them all. I should have guessed. Ride with me. We have a long journey ahead of us. Yeah! Los rebeldes tienen una fortaleza ahora. ¿A dónde vamos a parar? Abraham Reyes tiene un verdadero ejército. Dicen que hay cientos de hombres apostados a Torquemada. Creo que somos muy pocos. Captain Espinosa has set a camp at the base of the Mesa. We will join forces with him there. Alright, skip. Nice. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Aston, wake up. We're almost there. Yeah, that's probably better. How many shots do you need to die? Bloody hell! 
How strong are Mexicans with bullets to getting shot at? Must be very strong. Fair enough to them. Still, not ideal. I oh, know, just get me out of it, brother. Name scream. I got the repeat ammo. I can. Nah, bro, you saw that. You saw how BS that is. Then 
hombre, lo que sea, mujer. Amigo, amigo, ¿qué pasa? Kill it like you, he serves. Fine women and wine. The best pleasures earth can give a man. I need some information, DeSanta. All in good time. My man and I will finish our business here, and we can talk back at Escalera. The next time I see you, I need some answers, Captain. Go get drunk, go get a woman, enjoy life. It's a beautiful struggle. Oh God, this guy's fucking nuts. I mean, thanks for a hundred bucks. My opponent didn't even know it. It's 300 fame, let me get out of here. I highly doubt I'll be able to set up a camp in here. Could I actually? Oh no, I can. All the way over here, and I need to get all the way over there. Sick. I mean, it should be morning when I get there, so... There we go. I'm going this way? I can't. I have to go around the other way. Mexican Caesar. There, there I'm on a Gatling gun. Okay, what the hell? What's going on here, Captain DeSanta? Just a little recruitment. Nothing for you to be concerned about. You boys using women soldiers now? Our customs are none of your concern. Apparently not. The Santa Mariconcito! Me encontraste algunas chicas! Ay, mamacita! Donde has estado toda mi vida? Ven, ven, mujeres! Ha ha! Ay, me gusta! <laughs> it's two patriots were keen to make your acquaintance, the ah, coronel. Fantastic! I love patriots! <laughs> ah, hey, Sergeant Marston, you here to fight the war? At least I'll make a patriot of you yet. I hope so. <laughs> Any word of those men? Oh, yes. I heard they were riding with Reyes. I wanted to talk to you about it. Uh, the Santo, uh, hable con él. Tell him what I wanted. Huh? His Excellency, El Coronel, would like to employ you in escorting a train down Rebel Country. The job is dangerous. But you'll have the honor of... <laughs> Another patriot? Of knowing that you serve Mexico in her fight against forces that would destroy our society. How much you offer? 20,000 pesos. And information as to the whereabouts of Javier Escuella. Okay, then. Mexico loves you, Mr. Martin. She has a funny way of showing it. <laughs> oh, fantastic! Vámonos, muchachos. Ringo, Ringo, are you listening to me? Does it seem quiet to you? I don't know. You tell me. We have not seen a single rebel yet. I'd say that's a good thing, wouldn't you? Una emboscada! Abre el fuego!
I cannot see any more of them. That was close. I don't know. This doesn't feel right to me. We're on our way to escort a train through rebel-held country. An ambush feels about right to me. Soldado! ¿Quién eres? ¿Cuál escuadrón? Somos nuevos reclutas, Capitán. Es nuestra primera asignación. I knew I had not seen these men before. They are new recruits. En escalera, people have been talking about the rebels planning a large attack. If these supplies are so important, why have we been given so few soldiers? Don't ask me. You're the captain. I thought you were supposed to be fearless. I am fearless, but not brainless. There is something wrong. I feel it. Maybe you just need to take a piss or something. The colonel told me that the Santa had praised my actions at Torquemada and called me a hero. He asked for me to be given this important assignment. Why would he do that? The cabron hates me. Yeah, but doesn't... Sorry, if you had that, my phone just dropped. They're all above us! Of a bed. Another meme... How many meme screams do I have to hear in this game? I mean, I don't mind it, because it's hilarious. Still. Is that our trade? Yes, it seems to be on schedule. At least one thing is going right for us. I agree. We ain't off to a good start. You shoot well, gringo. Tell me something. What is your weapon of choice? What do you mean? Come, my friend. Your belt is full of weapons. Which is your favorite for attacking a man? We are close to Chuparosa now. I still have a bad feeling about this. Tell me, why are you here? What did they promise you? 20,000 pesos in Javier Escuela. That is a lot of promises. Do you know where Escuela is? You think I am going to tell you that before you have fulfilled your obligations? Do not take me for a fool. I've given you no reason not to trust me. You must understand why we are suspicious of you. Most American vigilantes come here to help the rebels. It is strange you have chosen to work for the army. I'm not working for you. How many times do I have to say this? Call it what you want, gringo. We are exchanging favors then. I ain't seen many favors come my way yet. Abraham Reyes is trying hard to recruit gringos to fight for him. His propaganda is everywhere. He promises women, gold, and... Of course you come. Money and the chance to interfere in business that is not your own. How can any American resist? I've done everything you've asked of me. If Belinda doesn't give me a Escuela and Williamson after this... Wrong time to cut off Jordan game. Here I'll... we are at last. Lalo, abordamos el tren! I do not think we have seen the last of the rebels. New recruits can't win a fight like this. I need you to man the Gatling gun. I ain't the soldier here, Captain. Do not question me, gringo. Just do as I say. Vámonos! Manteanse alerta! Get behind that gun. I am not taking any chances. I hope you know how to use that gun. Can't be that hard. Just waiting at me. Yeah, try try test it at you, bro. We will all be killed. Don't worry, Captain. I've used one of these before. We're a cold hearted killer. You're an anxious son of a bitch, ain't you? We have already been ambushed. Our squad is made up of new recruits and the two men that Santa hates the most. I think it is right to be anxious. Yeah, well, I wasn't exactly expecting a pleasant picnic by the seaside myself. Over 
The weird light type mission is that the Gatling gun is not fairly accurate so most of the time you're kind of shooting a lot of the horses as well and I don't like that. Maybe because I'm bad at aiming but like how can you aim just for the uh, people who are riding horses without hitting the horses? Unless you have aimbot, which I don't. Sorry about that. That's the first thing I've said in like a good like maybe five minutes. How many of you fuckers are there, brother? This Gatling gun is so slow and shit. In the Gatling gun doesn't kill him instantly.
Wave going. Where's he even taking us? Go past Verosa. We go past. Be good, or is that more? I'm gonna say there's more. I think that's all of it. Okay, thank God. Go. The base camp is just at the top of the hill. That was madness. You did well, compadre. Very well. Whatever I get, they promised you in return. You have earned it. I don't think the Santa expected us to come back from this. Did you want to kill him, or should I? No. Till I find Escuela, he's more used to me a lot. So he thinks he sets us up, which you know makes sense. He does seem like a slippery dog. He sounds like a slippery dog. Here we are. Thank God. We are lucky to be alive. Go to the camp. The base commander will want to speak to you. Dios mío! Sobrevivieron! Senor Marston, thank you for your efforts. The escort was a success. At least some of your men survived. I didn't think to survive myself. My whole life I have dreamed of a glorious death. <laughs> Vamos! Rapido antes uh, que nos ataquen otra vez. These socialist pigs cannot be allowed to win. Lovely. I'm literally all the way on the other fucking side, bro. I'm pretty glad to go to my house and sleep. Because there, there ain't no way. Ain't no way I'm going there and that mission will be available. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, boy. Ain't no way. Oh, no, it's... I'm going to be quick, actually, because there's some times where it can literally be available. You get to it, and then it becomes unavailable. How long have been? 28 minutes. Your master! Good news, good news. The coronel himself wants to speak to you. Come. Magnificent. Not save her for later. Or I'll kill her and all her family. They're probably rebels anyway, huh? <laughs> Anyways, it's good to see you, amigo. Good to see you. You know, you are a rare find. A gringo who is also a friend of our country. Bienvenido. We welcome you. Okay. Dad, relax, relax. I have some wonderful news for you. Quite wonderful, in fact. You know the men you hunt? They have been captured in Chupa Rosa. I want you and DeSanta to ride out there, hmm. then you can take possession of them. It is my gift to you, for all your help, senor. Although part of me wishes that you would remain here and enjoy more of our hospitality, huh? <laughs> Thank you. If it's all the same, I'd like to collect the men. I have a wife and son at home whom I miss. Ah, don't we all, amigo? Don't we all? <laughs> DeSanta, I want you to take care of senor Marston. Take care of me. Interesting choice of words. Follow me. A wagon has already been prepared.
Yeah, they wouldn't just be captured that easily. That's not how Bill Williamson and Javier Escuela roll. They're smarter than that. They wouldn't just get captured like that, no way. Williamson and Esquilla in the church. Yeah, 100% they're going to be there. Alright boys, been a while. It's time for you to die. This definitely isn't so up. I'm definitely not going to get getting tortured. I don't know. Like, they wouldn't be in there, would they? This is, too, this is too easy. And he said he wants to take care of me. I knew it. <laughs> Gracias for your service to this land. <laughs> it was too good to be true. Slippery little fucker. Levanten esta pizza mierda. Levantenlo. Marston. Hey. I now have my normal clothes. You have betrayed this land enough. I hope you have a clear conscience. Because you're about to meet God. <laughs> my brother, they will kill you if you don't give your ropes up. Over here, I will free you. I'm my brother. My brother in Christ. Reyes, my brother. Talk about perfect timing. John Marston? I don't think so, buddy. Dickhead. Bastards. Should have known. I guess I'm a rebel now. Today, we have proven that the days of this evil regime are numbered. Soon, we shall be free. Living together in a noble republic. Justly ruled by fine men. But, 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 the work, the job is not done. Our struggle is not over. We will fight all day and night until local tyrants like Allende are no more. Him and all his dogs are brought to the source. We shall be free. 
This time things shall be different for every man and woman in this land! And, and one day, and one day soon, again they will know justice! My brothers, fight on! In our hearts, we are all free! Let us make it so! Viva la revolución! Viva Mexico! 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 Fantastic. I like how picture back in your original, your original um, attire. Find that a bit funny. Got a mission for Luisa here. We also got a mission for Reyes. We're going for 36 minutes. Super for Reyes. Since he saved me, you know. Since he just saved me, we'll go to him. Save Luisa for the start of the next episode, I want I think. Okay. Great Mexican train robbery. What's this about? Where is Abraham Reyes? Here, amigo! Here! Well, 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 look who it is! The American bandit turned bounty hunter who is about to win the Mexico Revolution! I don't know about that, mister. No, but I do, Mr. John Marston. I do. A man like you, or me, with, with just a few such men, I tell you I could rule the entire country. Hey, hermanos unidos! Set my people free! Libre Mexico! Mexico! Libre Mexico! like food to me. I feel I was sent for them and they were sent to me. Good for you. Uh, when I rule these people, I shall be fair and judicious and wise. How so you ask? Very simple. I know these people. I know this land. In short, I can make them better. It must be pleasant to be a man so at one with his destiny. I don't do it for myself, John Marston. I do it for my people. Well, exactly. Sarcasm, my friend, should be beneath a man such as you, don't you think? Very little is beneath a man such as me. Ha! <laughs> okay, well, well, in that case, I assume a little robbery will be a pleasant day's work. All in a good cause, of course. Come, my brother. Let us strike while the iron is hot. Vamos, mis hermanos. Let's go. Vamos. You must tell me more, John. Are my sources correct? Have you come to Mexico to murder your two best friends? Not exactly. We were friends once. A lot's changed since then. Now that we are friends, I hope you will give me some warning if you get a sudden urge to kill me. You'll be the first to know when I kill you, I promise. So where are they? Who? Williamson and Escuela. I'm not sure exactly where. They are definitely in Mexico. That much I know already. You told me you'd found them. And I will. I have my very best man working on it. 
If I find out you're lying to me, Reyes, you'll really see the man I used to be. I will give you your friends, I promise. Just give me time. I think honestly, John, right now we need to focus on getting back into Santa and Allende. We ran in the same gang together, under a fella called Dutch. We were all bad kids, lost, angry, and forgotten. He kind of saved us and turned you into criminals. Dutch didn't see us that way. We robbed banks, stole from the rich, and we gave the money to people who needed it more. So he was a revolutionary too, like me. I suppose. He saw that the system of power was rotten, that good people had been crushed for too long, and he believed that change could only succeed if it was brutal and relentless, make America what he felt it was supposed to be. I like the sound of this man, Dutch. Another violent idealist. Where is he now? I don't know, but I gotta find him once I'm done with them two. In the end, he went insane. Lost faith in everything. Yeah. Everyone. You know, hearing this after playing RDR2 makes it sound so much more interesting. Jealous? Of his poetic potential, I mean. He would make an excellent corrido. A bullfight? No, mi hermano. That is a corrida. No, a corrido is as Mexican as Mexico itself. A song, a poem, a story, a ballad. A musical tribute to a heroic man and their great deeds. There are over a hundred written about me. Remind me to stay away from men with guitars. In a country where most people cannot read the newspaper, song is a powerful means of communication. We do what we can to battle the lies and propaganda of the government. I know. I've seen your posters. In the capital, they are already talking about my legendary escape from El Presidio. How I fought off a thousand Mexican soldiers with my bare hands. Finally, the people have the truth. I have to know, what did you think of Agustin Allende, young? I saw enough to know he ain't a good man. It is bad enough he beats the people he swore to protect, but it is worse that he enjoys it. Something must have made him that way. Cowardice made him that way, my friend. That and Sanchez, of course. Who? General Ignacio Sanchez, our country's kind and generous dictator. Everything comes from him. It is like a father who beats his son, and then his son takes his dog outside and rapes him. That's a very specific example, Allende Abraham. Es una marioneta. How do you say a, a, a puppet? Everything he does is controlled by Sanchez. In America? They told us Sanchez was making things better here. Pinche propaganda. He talks about economic reform, about how this is a new golden age for Mexican people. But look around you. The people are poorer than ever. Well, that's a train. Allende is nothing more than a perrito for General Sanchez. A what? A little fuck. Carajo, cuidado, John. If he has Allende to eat the shit out of his puro, Allende will do it. Not far now. Chuparosa is just up ahead. We must hurry. The train will be leaving soon. What's on that train that's so important? I received information that the army is transporting a vast quantity of supplies to distribute to their forces. Do we have a plan? I will explain when we get there, but those supplies won't be arriving. I figured as much. Today, Allende will pay a high price for his treason. So listen, this train is filled with valuable supplies we need, but it's also filled with government troops. We'll set off a very loud distraction, you can board the train, and then you can disconnect the army cars, huh? Okay. Okay, but listen, we've got to get this done before the train rolls out of the station. You make it sound so easy. <laughs> well, did I not promise you fun times, amigo? Eh? There are too many soldiers. We must surprise them. Here, take this knife. You can use it to kill the guards quietly. Wait until I distract them. Then get on that train as fast as you can, Jung. Wait here while I create a distraction.
Give me my stuff back, please. Gatling gun, brother. Neem scream. Come on, fellas. Yeah, scale of a Gatling gun. You dumbass. My train now. Go ahead and blow the armored car and take whatever you need, my brother. Vámonos. Quick, brother, we don't have much time. The boom. Let me have a look.
Hmm, let's see what's in there. What have we got in here? What's our Yende got us? Money? And is that a letter? Hmm. Okay. And a gun. I'll take that. Thank you very much. 200 bucks. I know over a thousand. Sure, but I need to know where Williamson and Escuela are hold up. All in good time, amigo. I'm off to deliver these goods. I'll see you back at the ranch. Oh, my spies tell me they soon will have the information you need. Right, plus 150 fame, plus 100 for getting close to max honor. Anyway, I'm going to go and leave the episode here. Hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you for the next episode. Deuces.